course will give students an opportunity to learn about the African Black diaspora in Canada, its roots, its diversity, its complexities, and the various systems of oppression that have given rise to this diversity. We start with the transatlantic slave trade, slavery, indentureship, and move to the afterlife of those oppressions. Labor in the afterlife is not just looking at the kinds of work that people did, but how black bodies were naturally associated with particular kinds of work, domestic work, nursing, porters, the implications of those associations, but also the ways in which those workers mobilized and strategized to create change. The medicalization of black bodies from conception to death, even after death, in the name of medical experiments, medical knowledge. Physical erasure are the numerous examples of black communities and black settlements that were, where peoples were driven out, um, where communities were literally bulldozed the evisceration of the existence of Black life. And also Black resistance and freedom. So activism, but also the creative forms of resistances that have had to happen. Students will connect to spaces and places, for the most part within the city, um, and us actually going out and talking about um, examples of erasure or examples of activism, but actually seeing where they took place. Also, our engagement with archives uh, around Black history, Black Canadian history. And it is a, the most challenging piece uh, because erasure has happened and is happening there. And so it takes a lot of work to go and find, <laughs> uh, find us. In critiquing and wanting to dismantle racial oppression and anti-Black racism, there, there has to be room for creative imaginings. We can sometimes feel the pressure and the weight of having to constantly battle leaving very little room um, to nurture different imaginings. The course is hoping to have us think about dismantling, disrupting, but also creating.